is strong, not with the dribble. Just give her the, pa the pass in a position so she can just tip it in. Well, Elovic will start us off in two. Straight down the gut of that Latvian defense, and they were just sleeping. And every time you just take the easy option of thinking about Nyagupova, uh, someone else will hurt you. Great recognition. With a Denko, two for two. And they take the opportunity to leave the Eku on the bench, giving her a, a little bit more rest. Strazmane gets her feet set, thought about the long two, changed her mind. Jakobson gets it onto the wing, out of bounds. You can see it. We're on the other side of the court, you knew she was there. Yeah, and it's the second, um, of course, there for Latvian team. Just stepping out of the bounds, the players really need to know where they are at, on the court. Pova face guarded. They take the three. Knock it down, and Gorbic gets the three. And the rest of the team have decided to play at the start of this second quarter. A great sign for Ukraine. And that's come from the fact that just more aggressive defensively. Foul line jump shot is no good. You just got to knock down those shots. And that'll be a little bit of soccer. Yeah, again, it's great hustle from both teams. Uh, bodies on the floor tells you how much it means. And Gorob has done a great job right now in, in to not give up that ball coming into the hands of the Latvian players. This is her three big, big um, hit. Well, Angie Pope was trying to tell the official the floor is wet because they've all just dived on it and they haven't dried it. So around the Nike sign, let's hope no one slips. Whistle on the plate. And they're going to go offensive. And uh, I think that's... Kreslina picks up the personal. She is really a little bit foul prone. And at the offensive end, you don't really need And Turned it over straight away, but recovered. And what? It's going to be... And when Lovic picks up foul number three, that could be costly for the Ukraine. Those loose ball fouls really hurt you because it's just one of those try to recover. Puverle, thought about baseline, gets the hand off, thinks about the mid-range, tries to create a little separation to make the pass. Eki Apova just played tough on the baseline. And quite rightly, Gorobet said, let's slow down, let's play some half court here. Eki Apova gets a screen in the block. And she chooses to give it up. Tough. The great decision because straight away, and Lujovic had the wide open too, but she had the guard on her back. Yeah, absolutely, but that's much better pace of Ukraine, like now, um, having this action after combination. So it makes them all move and create these spaces. Beautiful hesitation. Jacob Sony, who probably is going to come out of the game, just created a little lane to the hoop, gets the two. Redlovic goes inside, ball's knocked away, Nico goes inside, great recovery. To get ahead of the pass. Iapova wraps it down low. That's a tough angle to pass the ball, and then Malashenko's showing Iapova, yeah, give me the ball high because I have a short player at my knee level. And I still think Ukraine are a better lineup when uh, Anna Pilatsavitska is in the game because I think they get that more balance with her as a point guard. Pulver gets to the foul line, kicks it off. They look inside, no angle. Penetration. A kick to the corner, and Kreslina can't handle it. I think 
think it really suits Ugonian team uh, to have uh, some organized uh, game on the court and then when no one else or there's nothing coming out of it, then give the ball Yagubova. But look at that move in and out and it does travel. Uh, yeah. Picks up the pivot foot, dragged it to the middle. Really, so that travel, yeah, that was that little step before the move. Yaku will get Latvia into the half court. Four point game, Ukraine, Ukraine have the lead. Bulverde gets inside. Yaku from the corner is short. Defensive rebound is pulled in. And the foul, which is going to be on uh, Bulverde. Good look for Latvia, could knock it down. And there's the foul, which is. 30 meters from the basket, and I don't really think, as much as you're frustrated, don't waste your foul. Yeah, and Ukraine is not a team who would be really quick into the transition, so I don't think it was necessarily to stop them from what they didn't aim to run. And that's the other thing that will happen if you are chasing and denying on the over if they're looking to pass the screen, and the execution of it has to be so, so good. Offensive foul court, second team foul on the Ukraine. 6.50 to go in the half. Loving the atmosphere here. Yaku gets the two options on the screen. Tries to turn the corner. Skip. And while the pass was poor, no one else moved. Yeah, yeah. She was wait she was waiting for the hit or corner move, but Pulvera was right in between on both positions, so she not she gonna make a move and offer herself for this pass. Is your kiss kip Scott? Gets it off to the opponent, to the corner. Lobos takes the three, and he's off. Pulberry, Pulberry, you don't realize how good a job she did, because she had no chance of getting that rebound. Just put her body on it, and allowed her teammate to rebound. Pulberry turns the corner, left hand off the glass. <laughs> <laughs> what a great penetration for Pulberry. Great, she saw the open line all the way to the hoop. Uh, Ukraine defense split line didn't react on time. Yep, over with a rainbow three is short. What a board! You have to box out. Udodenko came from the three-point line to get the offensive board. No one tried to put anything on her. I think we have a few thousand coaches around her, which is, is around us, who are just yelling that. She just came from nowhere. Finds herself on the free throw line. Chance to increase Ukraine's lead. One for two from the line, defensive rebound, and neither team is excelling from the free throw line. That's pressure. Pure and simple. Pulvari moves the basketball and Scott Mane outside. Pulvari has it. Sideline pick and roll. They almost, they did take it. Now they take the long two, drops it. Gets the confidence on the penetration, gets her feet set and knocks down the two. We've got a one-point game. Yeah, and she has really read the defense well because the defense tapped on the, on the rolling player, so why not to take the shot, especially when he scored a position before? Great effort. Can't come up with a steal. And Yapenko drops it inside, little fumble. Ball's knocked away. The actual chance to run in transition. That's an unsportsmanlike foul. And if that's... Uh, by the Lovitz, that'll be foul. Well, it's foul number one, it's uh, Horvath who has the three fouls. And the Ukraine will take time out. Here was the replay of the intention. No intention to play a ball, really just body, body. Well, here's a question again. The other team is going to shoot free throws and have sideline possession. Do you want to give them that chance to organize their sideline after they've played their free throws? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. But one thing what's good again is that Elena DeCalc is really pushing the ball and uh, she she is ready to go farther in this stage of tournament because you can see she's not going to give up one possession. It 
it also gives Coach Zibats the chance to say, we're going to run this. If we score, we might press, we might do this. Yeah, to be honest, I think it's a great strategic move from, from Latvia as well, because Ukraine has really tall players. That means that they're a bit slower than the shorter players of Latvia, so they really do have to run the floor. And they've been doing it really well. That's why they are in the game, because uh, Ukraine has trouble to stop that transition offense of Latvia. Well, let's see. Let's see if uh, it works with the Ukraine taking their second time out. They're still halfway through. This uh, second quarter, still half of the quarter to go. They have no timeouts left in this first half. There's an emotional shift. It's an interesting moment in the game. Latvia could really benefit if they're smart, if they make their free throws. Yaku makes the first. Ties it at 22. She goes 2-2, two, two, and they have the possession. And Lovic with the unsportsmanlike foul. I do like the uh, I do like the call. It does stop the, the foul stopping the break. And that'll be the 14th foul for the Ukraine. Here, Pova picks up the personal. So it's now on there. Every other foul of any of the teams going to yeah. be sent to the final line shots for two free throws. And Ukraine are very foul prone. We saw a game last night that took over two hours with the Ukraine sending uh, Spain to the free throw line for 32 times. We're very oh. <laughs> Knocks it down. And a stop now. And Lavry have a huge opportunity going into the half. Shavitska gets it into the half court. Malashenko moves it on. Revolic gets it, doesn't get the drop. Big rebound, big, big rebound. Tries to hold on, just about holds on. 2 14. They get over for three. It's long. And the ball is out of bounds. And Lavia have it. And the crowd heating up in the air. <laughs> Probably six quick points in, in this uh, quarter for Latvia. This is a shot from the corner. Just heats up the crowd again. Latvia really need behind their back. You just, if you're a Latvian fan now, you're sitting there. Just make good decisions. Make good decisions. Get good shots. Really do a good job here. Yeah, uh, that has been a three yeah, points, not two. No, yeah. no, definitely a three. Good usage of the resources we have, the camera, the officials check the Uber have been on the line or not. And we're on the other side of the floor, and, and, and we're, we think it's a three. <laughs> so, Iliaku wants pressure out of bounds, relieved. And they're all over Iliaku now. Almost turned over. pulveri has got to take the same responsibility she's been taking the last two. Got to put it up. Takes the tough one. And they can't get it away. Good stop by Ukraine. And you've got to give so much credit to Anna Bilatskavitska. All over the Aku and really did force the Ukraine, sorry, force Latvia to do something they didn't want to do. That's all your defense is about. And it gives it up. They look down low. Mid-range jump shot is off. And the ball will stay with the Ukraine. They just have to do the little things. Right now, three moments of the game. This four-point lead could grow, or Ukraine could get back right in it. And you can feel the crowd feeling the, the, the importance of the moment. Gipska gets it off. Big up over, goes inside. Nice pass. Beautiful pass. Malashenko with the easy job because someone just gave you points on a plate. That has been, again, a great court vision from Yegu Pavan, knowing that two players are on her back. Yegu picks up the person who will go to the free throw line. Then you kind of have to ask the question, like, the position before, Belaskis got a great job to cover Elena Yegu from the ball. Why they don't care under that? I know it's quite physical, but um, you're trying to really cut her off the ball, so she's not as effective as she is so far. 11 points. Uh, so this guy goes on the three personal. I think that's a big number because she was doing really was setting the tempo defensively. Kondus checks into the game for the Ukraine. She's got to pick that defense up in the same way. Iliaku has found her range from the three throw line. Has made her last uh, three. Make that four. 
And Kreslina is not interested in the basketball whatsoever. They're face guarding Agia Pova. Ball's knocked away. Turnover. Pulera gives it up. Diliaka goes up for the layup for two. <laughs> on a roll. On a roll with the whole crowd on their feet. Diliaka takes it over. Almost the fumble. Kundus thought about the three. Diliaka gets it closer to the halfway line than the three point line. Looks inside. Balls up, great finish. Super pass, super heads up play, great finish. And Zibat takes the timeout. His team lead by four with 319. I still think almost let it go. Unless he feels he needs to give someone a blow. Yeah, that's a great uh, experience, let's say, a uh, play from the Ukraine right now, not to get away, but then by uh, Latvian teams getting into their back, uh, they really did keep the composure, they really did play what, what they're good at. So, Yanko uh, on the ball, trying to play pick and run and open up her teammate if she can't play herself. So, I think there's been great response from Ukraine on this uh, Latvian run. Here we see Ukraine 11 points from bench, uh, points in the paint quite even. Uh, I think that's really Ukraine needs to stop the transition offense of Latvia. And on the other hand, Latvia needs to keep pushing because that's the way they can play. We see Zenta Malnika back in the court, so if they don't have that transition offense, they need to really try to get her involved. Uh, the way that she's going to end up right under the hoop to, to be able to be open for that pass and, pick, and put it in. Wow. Uh, is, uh, really starting to share this now. Eight points, so she's taken a third of the shot, but she's also just out four assists. So she has been responsible for that much offense. She hasn't scored in this quarter yet, which is quite rare. <laughs> Kreslina hits the deck. Great work on the glass. Tremendous Ooh. rebound. I don't know if the pass was so good. And get Pova in transition. Watch out. Off her foot, though. That's one for the scrapbook. I've never seen her do that before. Eliaku moves it on. Pulvere, Pere, who's missed the opportunity to put up another open look. Lenka inside out. And that was, I think I was close to stealing that, too. A shame Pulver didn't take that shot because she exactly. had both bigs under the hood for possible rebound just in case she would have missed. Yagupova thinks about it, puts it on the floor, all the way to the glass for two. Good read from Yagupova, she knew and Melnika can't guard her on her feet. And Lavia taking another quick timeout with 2.32 to go. And they lead by two. And I was hard to believe that that was the first two points of uh, yeah, the Puma in this quarter in, in seven and a half minutes, which is quite rare to see. But as you already mentioned before, she's been on four assists and she's been really opening up for her teammates, which makes it way easier for Ukraine because uh, it gets that attention of one player away and other players are feeling involved and boosting their confidence for the second half. Well, Latvia's still only shooting 6 for, six for 11, but they've made the last four, so that's improving from the free throw line. Well, Dielaku is improving from the free throw line because she's the person who's made the last four. I, I really think that they have the game. They have a way of winning this game, Latvia. It's just will they stay with it? Will they just forget the fact that they might make a mistake and just be aggressive and push? And the one thing is just make her work, just make the apple work for things, not just let her run passes from the high post. Yeah, absolutely, which has which been working so far really well. Because we've seen Christina really uh, facing Yagupova uh, to really not even paying attention to the ball. And, and that's what you just said, that they need to make her work twice harder and not give her that confidence of easy to dribble from the spot, set her feet and be ready to attack. Yeah. Kova gets the Liaku gets it into the half court. Chris Lina will move it back. Tavares had a nice start to the game. Liaku beats set for three. And orchestrates everybody on their feet. Easy catch again for Liapova. Saw the mismatch. Just loved it there. Just heads up. You don't have but, to. You know, it'd be great to recognize that. Just throw the lob. Yeah, but other players need to see this because I, that pass took forever to be delivered out of there. And, and uh, if you see your short teammate being on the mismatch, you got to go there and help. 
Well, they try and repeat Latvia. They just hang on, but turn it over. Chance for the Ukraine to come into one or even tie the game on this possession. Iapova has it, turns the corner, looks, skips. Great penetration. They blow the layup. And Latvia come down with a defensive rebound. And the whole body just has to make that layup. Very, it opens up. She needs a pass. Never there. But fortunately, they're bowed out. The ball just couldn't be controlled. It's almost like she made the penetration. I'm going to make that pass regardless. Yeah, it's a second pass. They're trying to uh, bounce pass to Zenta Malnika. She really needs the ball high. Because she has the size. She has the athleticism to jump for the ball, even if you throw it to the air and you to saw, get it. You saw the rotation, and Dilliak is wide open. Yep. Pass to the long side. Pulvera for the two. is good. And she's had a super half. She's there, that, that second player now is really giving the support. Nine points in the second quarter for Pulvera. Excellent. The help was late, the foul was there. In fact, it, she got suckered into it a little bit. Should have just asked her to make a tough one. Yeah, that comes to the point, like, would you like to stay in charge to Yagupova, who is really, like, uh, uh, going into the penetration so aggressively, or you just do what you've just done, didn't move your body enough to commit a personal foul? If over on the free throw line. She goes two for two. Substitution. As uh, Brumani will check in for Pilabelli. Pilabelli, three personal fouls. I think that's why that substitution to keep her on the bench for later stage of this game. Chris Lina, who I still think is one of the key factors of this foul on the plate. She will go to the free throw line. Chance to increase the three point margin. That could easily be called as an enforcement foul as well because um, that was no really intention to play the ball. It was just to, just to allow the player to shoot. Exactly. And there's, therefore, it becomes a good foul as yeah. Preslina misses the first. <laughs> And the free throw percentages drop to 50% again. They will not win this game shooting 50% from the free throw line. No, it's only Elena Dikelak who is shooting 85%. The rest of the players, I think they couldn't make the shot from that line. Ukraine. Nipova almost stolen. Kreslina almost gets a piece. Diliaku read it. And the crowd are going to enjoy this as she makes the two. Kondus in the lane, needs a pass, finds a pass. The long two is good. And the Ukrainian team have people who can shoot the basketball, there is no doubt. As Malashenko knocks down another two. Bering, wide open, Kreslina, gets it and At the end of the corner, opens it out to a seven point advantage and Kreslina finally gets one to drop. And she's going to love half-time right now. It's always so important to hit this shot to the changing rooms of the opposition because it, it's just going to keep you going for the third quarter. 41 to 34 at the half. The Yankton team have it after training.